Hi everybody, we are um, making our healthy plates. Skylin, you want to tell everybody how, how we do this? We do strawberries, corn, sunflower seeds, oranges, bananas, and avocados. Yeah, well, well what, we, what started this healthy plate? Um, when I was a younger mom, I didn't really understand nutrition and its value. And of course, I have, am still learning every day new things for the kids. And so when the boys were really, really little and they were really close together, I was just in survival mode. It was just, please have something on your stomach so we can go to bath time and bedtime. And, but I gradually, you know, day by day, added in better foods for them and just loved learning more about nutrition and how important it was for our baby's brains and all that. So in my second life, having a baby at 40, um, you know, I did better. When the boys were about three, five, and seven, I started educating myself. I didn't know what I didn't know and uh, began really trying to get more colors in their body. And so that was sort of how I made it elementary. And for for parents out there that have so many kids, it, it is hard. And um, But I started with a healthy plate with Skyland. And with the boys, I would do like muffin plates. And, you know, they could pick from um, all the little muffin cups and I would just put you know things on the counter and just say you know here's what you can have and we would gradually get healthier raisins all kind of stuff and so with Skylin I didn't do the muffin because it was just her and you know the boys I had to use a muffin a muffin plate but with Skylin I mean a muffin tin but with Skylin I just did a plate and we would always say five colors five colors grow food what food you can consume that came from the ground and a tree. <laughs> or a tree and so this is what we do because she loves her sweets and you know so it was kind of a deal I made I said okay you know if, if, if you know hot chocolate and if you want, a Sunday, Sunday. If you want yes a Sunday ice cream whatever then we're gonna put it you know five colors in to get your treat and the boys were were great with it when they were little and it's really been good because it's one of those things that I can do quickly and I put it in the um, middle of the counter and I can tell her, you know, the, the bananas are gonna be brown, you know, in a little while. So if you don't wanna eat brown bananas, you better, what? Eat them. Eat them, yes. So it's an easy way for us to kind of get firm, but just insist on feeding their brains better and teaching them about growth food and food that helps you what is it I say all the time and I think it makes you and Daddy cry? You're only as smart as what? As you eat. Yes. You're, you're only as smart as you eat. Did you just put all those sunflower <laughs> seeds in your mouth? <laughs> so I say to her, you know, and all these athletes out there, sometimes I'm, you know, and Wills and, you know, playing college football, and they get it now, you know. I know sometimes you can go too far one way and I, I learned that kind of the hard way with her I was so strict about it and now she's like can I have fruity pebbles <laughs> so I, I allow that sometimes but when I do allow that she knows she has to have her five colors and her probiotic and we just try to do better and better and better every day right yeah but I like my probiotic because it's sweet you like your probiotic because what? It's sweet. It's sweet. It's a gummy. <laughs> but we're thankful that we could share. This is kind of our little way of getting colors in our brain. And I would love to know what you guys do. Other busy, crazy, wonderful moms out there. How do you get the colors in your kids? And let's learn together. <laughs>